Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, I'm going to show you everything I do when we get back from vacation to get our camper ready for our next vacation. Now, the first thing I do is I start inside our house. Typically when we get back from vacation, our bedroom kind of becomes the dumping ground for all of our things and we typically have laundry from before we went on vacation that needs to be done. And so I always like to take a little bit of time before I empty out the camper and before I clean that up to kind of tidy up our master bedroom because I feel like once that's tidy and once all of our laundry inside of our house is put away, it just makes it so much easier to tackle everything from our vacation and our camper outside. Now, what you see me doing here is ironing our flat sheet that goes over our fitted sheet. I love ironing. For me, it's really therapeutic, it's really relaxing, and sometimes when you get back up from a vacation, you can feel like you are hitting the ground running again, even though you just spent all of this time resting and getting refreshed and rejuvenated for life. It's nice when you do kind of get home that even though you do kind of hit the ground running a lot of the times to take time those first few days to do things that are relaxing that can kind of encourage you to slow down and not rush back into the hustle and bustle of things. And for me, taking the time to really iron our bedding like this is what helps me kind of calm down and stay in that relaxed mode. So whatever that may be for you, it may be different, but you know, not only is it relaxing, but it just gives my bed that nice, crisp, fresh hotel feeling to it. So I love that. So that is the first thing I do is I just disinfect our mattress, I wash all of our sheets, I make the bed really nice, and while I do that, which you saw in the very beginning of this video, I make sure, I think I had mentioned this, to wash all of the laundry from before we left for our vacation. So that was really what I focused on this first day, and then tomorrow, the next day, I focused on our camper, which we will get to in a moment. But don't feel like you have to just unload everything from the camper right as soon as you get home and deep clean everything. It could just make you feel like you're stepping into chaos when you just came back from, like I said, what was supposed to be a really restful, relaxing vacation. Just leave the stuff in the camper, plug it up to electricity if you have that available. We, we, um, my, well, not we, my husband and my father-in-law hooked up electricity to our camper outside, which is super nice. So we are able to just leave everything in there, come right inside, enjoy our clean home because I always like to deep clean our home before we go on vacation. And then I honestly wait a couple of days before I even go back into the camper. And I would just recommend that if you, like I said, are able to hook it up to electricity or you're able to just leave your items in your camper when you get home from your vacation, do that so you can just step into a clean home, get relaxed, get rejuvenated, <laughs> and do the things that you see me doing here if you're able to, and then go in and tackle your camper, if that makes sense. So I'm basically just tidying up the master bedroom, doing all the laundry as you see here. I did put all of the laundry away the next day, I just didn't really video that. And then I deep cleaned our master bathroom. And one thing that I did have my husband do the next day was bring in all of our toiletry items from the camper. And so that's what you kind of see me putting away in our bathroom and that's why our bathroom also kind of looks like a mess because that too became kind of a dumping ground when we came in because even though we do leave a ton of stuff in our camper, we do bring some stuff inside as soon as we get home. So that's kind of where we put it, our bedroom and our bathroom. And then once I was totally done with all the laundry and deep cleaning this room, I went into the camper. So once I'm done with this, we'll move on to the camper.
right, you guys, so it is the next day and we are ready to tackle everything in this camper. So the first thing that I like to do is throw all of the bedding in the washer. That way, as I'm cleaning the camper, I'll have clean bedding that same exact day to go ahead and make the bed. So I start on that first instead of last. So for that reason, if you're wondering, and my father and mother-in-law were so sweet. They gave us this Makita handheld vacuum and it also has another longer attachment that you'll see in a moment. So I use it as a broom as well, but I love it so much because it really helps me get into those little nook and crannies inside of the camper where kind of bugs can get. But once I kind of vacuum behind the bed in that window, I will wash that window with like just a regular glass cleaner. And then I spray the mattress with this disinfectant spray. And I let that kind of sit while the bedding is washing. And then right underneath our bed in this storage, this is where we house all of our dirty clothes when we're on vacation. I have these hanging campers and then as they get full, we throw them in here. And then now that I've emptied out all of those clothes, I did go ahead and vacuum in there. And now I brought my empty hampers from inside the house because I was able to, like I said, do all of the laundry inside the house in order to be able to bring these empty hampers in the camper. And I just sorted all of my laundry and then I brought all of these hampers into the laundry room inside my house. That way the next day, once I'm done, you know, cleaning and emptying out the camper, I can do all of the laundry from inside. So that's kind of like the first thing I tackle is all of the clothes. And then I just empty out the closets where the clothing items were at throughout the camper as well. And I bring all of these clothes inside and a lot of these clothes were clean so when I went inside I went ahead and I just hung them all up right away and then I just brought all of my shoes inside and I put those away as well so I kind of make sure to kind of put things away as I'm bringing them in my home as well so this did take this took me about five hours, I'll be honest, to do everything you see here in this 24 minute video. And then once I was done bringing all of the clothing items and our shoes inside, I went ahead and I sprayed down the inside of all of the cabinets that had our clothing items in them. And I let the spray sit in the cabinets for five minutes just to make sure that the cabinets kind of absorbed that really good smell. And then I went back in and I wiped them all down. And the reason I like to do this is because you will be surprised if you have a camper, you know what I'm talking about, but while you're on vacation, things just get so dusty. And so this kind of keeps your camper staying nice and clean and it prevents you having like lots of buildup of dust in all of your nooks and crannies throughout your camper. And then I went ahead and I wiped down my nightstands and then I just vacuumed that small carpeted area right next to my side of the bed before I moved on to the bathroom. So basically what I do in the bathroom area is I empty everything out. So we have a little linen closet. I empty everything out of there. I empty everything out of the medicine cabinet, everything off of the floor. And then in this cabinet, below the sink, I empty everything out of there. That way I just have a clean slate to work with. And then I go ahead and I spray the shower surround. Now I do spray it with bleach and then as soon as I've sprayed it with bleach, I go in with a scrubbing pad and I scrub it really, really well because if you don't scrub it right away, the bleach will kind of leave streaks on your camper walls. So you kind of want to prevent that from happening. And then I just rinse it off really well. And then I go in with just some Dawn dish soap and an, a scrubbing pad and I scrub the walls really, really well with it and then I rinse it off and my father-in-law was so sweet he showed me how to hook up water to our camper at our house while it was parked so I was able to really clean this shower very well 
and then I just spray the bottom with some glass cleaner and then I clean the glass with some glass cleaner as well. Now on our previous vacation, the one before this one, I deep cleaned our entire camper on our last day at the campground, but then after that and then a day of traveling home, by the end of the day I was so tired that I thought, you know what, we'll just put the slide outs in, I'll put everything in their baskets so it doesn't, you know, nothing breaks or falls out of the cabinets, and then I will deal with everything when I get home, and I love doing that so much better than trying to deep clean everything at the campground and it kind of takes away from your vacation anyway so yes by the time I'm done with the shower surround I go ahead and I spray these baskets that we keep in this medicine cabinet for storing things when we are on vacation I spray them with a disinfectant spray and I just kind of set them in the cabinets and then for our little linen closet here I went ahead and I wiped that down on the inside and then I wiped this vanity down on the inside as well. Now, I did go ahead after I was done washing my bedding and I washed all of the linens for the camper and I folded them and then I, I put them back into the cabinets several days later. So that's why you didn't see me putting the linens back into the camper in this video, but it is something that, like I said, several days later I did go ahead and I organized all of our linens back into the camper. So like our bath towels, our kitchen towels, our cleaning cloths, all of those things I wash and I keep stored in the camper as well as these few toiletry items that are just for the camper. And everything that I brought out of the camper, I went through and I brought the things inside that needed to go inside and then I just reorganized everything back into the bathroom that stays in here. And then I just wiped down the counter. I wipe down the toilet and then I sweep and I mop in this space and then the bathroom is totally done. So yes. <laughs> and these waffle weave towels, they are two of them. I will link them down below for you. We don't actually use these. We have other towels that we use, but I just put them up here to kind of make it look more decorative. And then I also put this sign up above our toilet as well. So I will link where I got that picture for the toilet as well as those waffle weave towels down below for you. I love for things to be functional but also decorative while also bringing joy, which is definitely what the picture frame does. It just simply brings joy and that's all it does. It's not really functional, but the towel, you know, is, it's definitely functional, but also decorative and beautiful. And by the time I'm done cleaning the bathroom, the linens for the bed are clean. So that is the next thing I do is I go ahead and I make our bed. That way, when we're ready for our next vacation, we have a nice clean bed that's already made. And when we pull up to any campground that we visit with this beautiful bed already made, you just instantly feel like you're in a little retreat in the woods or at the beach if that's where we go. So I, I love doing this. <laughs> and let me know in the comment section below if you are interested to know where I got any of these linens from. I will try to give you those links for them. And I am going to wait to sweep and mop the bedroom until the very end, but the next place that I move into is kind of the living room area. And so this is just storage underneath these benches here, and in the right side of the bench is where I store all of our extra bedding, which we didn't end up using this last trip, so that just stayed in there. And then in this bench, it's typically always empty, and all I put in there are our games for while we're on vacation. So we just we are a little bit more minimalist, my husband and I, and so we probably won't ever have this camper jam-packed full of stuff anyways, but I, I like to do that in any space. I like to have places that are kind of empty to kind of give you room to grow anyways. And then I always go ahead and I clean the windows really well. I wipe down the bench cushions really well. And as soon as we got home from our vacation, my husband, my sweet, precious husband, deep cleaned the outside of the camper. He waxed it, he 
cleaned everything we want to really take care of the things that we have so they'll last us for a long time so that is very important to us and then I just wipe down the chairs here and I refold the blankets and put those over them and then that area is kind of done and then the next thing that I like to do is empty out the back side of the storage here behind the TV that is where I store most of our items so like our kitchen items that can't really be in the cabinet while we're traveling I will house my pantry items in there when we when we are at our vacation <laughs> destination spot. Um, I will house all of my cleaning supplies, all of my linens, so all of the, like the miscellaneous camper items, any paperwork. And so basically what I did was I purchased four really large baskets and I just use those for all of those different things. And in the fall, for our fall camping trip, I do want to get some like basket labels for these baskets. But that's something that I would kind of recommend. Just buy however many will fit in your space that you have in your camper of large fabric baskets. If you get anything that isn't fabric, you're risking like maybe scratching your surfaces of your cabinets on the inside. So I prefer something that is scratch resistant like these baskets. And it just serves you really well for all of those miscellaneous cleaning and just kitchen items that you want to bring into your camper just to have for your specifically for your vacations and then I wipe down those that surface behind the TV really well and I do put cabinet liners down as many as I can where I have baskets or things that might move around and they really do keep everything secure we have not had anything fall out of our cabinets or fall off of anything with these baskets and the cabinet liners, everything stays very secure and we're able to kind of clip the TV in place too, which is really nice, which brings me to the next thing that I do. I always like to clean the TV really well. I like to wipe down all of the surfaces <laughs> because like I said, the camper collects so much dust with each new trip that we go on. It's just crazy, but yeah, I always like to wipe everything down really well after every single trip that we go on and the cabinet above the TV is actually completely empty. We don't have anything to store in there so that's why you didn't see me tackle that and now we are ready to move on to the kitchen which I did put both of my cleaning caddies in here while I was kind of cleaning the camper. I have a cleaning caddy for the kitchen and then one for all of the other areas in the camper and then the next thing that I did was I cleaned out the fridge. We did bring a lot of the food items inside when we first got home just because we wanted to use them but basically all I do is I wipe down all of the surfaces really really well and I did get these little cabinet liners for my fridge that I really like. I bought an egg organizer that I clip onto one of the cabinets and for our fall camping trip I'm going to invest in some produce keeping storage containers that can keep my produce fresh for longer and just a few more organizing containers for my fridge but for now this is what I've done and I love my little kitchen refrigerator system that I have going on here. Now the next thing that I do is I just wipe down the rest of the surfaces in the kitchen and I tidy up and then I sweep and I mop and that is pretty much everything. I mean it did take me a long time because I do like to do a more detailed clean but it's great because now when we're ready for our next vacation, everything is ready. All I have to pack are our toiletries, our clothing items, and our food. And everything that we need to cook with is already in our camper. We purchased separate things for the camper. So that way I don't have to pack up my whole kitchen inside my house and then bring all that out to the camper when we go on vacation. It's already in there, ready to go. So that was a, kind of a bigger initial investment for us. but. I'm really happy we did that because it makes packing up to go on our trip super easy and we do keep a dehumidifier in our camper as well so that's what that is on top of the sink. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope it encourages you on your next <laughs> RV camping trip when you get home and you don't know where to start as far as cleaning your camper out and I just I love you guys so much. 
Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because I've got some great home videos coming up for you this summer. All things home, cooking, cleaning, DIY projects, home decor, hosting, all the fun things. So hit that bell so you can be notified. And until next time, I love you guys so much. Bye.